Guys, uh, before we get into what is performance testing or understanding what is performance testing, let's try to understand why usually these applications become slow. In my earlier video, uh, which says why performance testing, in that video, we did understood that the performance testing is done on the application so that it doesn't become slow. Or in other words, sometimes some applications become slow and to avoid that, to make them run faster or to make sure that they are not slow, we usually get those applications performance tested. So now let's try to understand why these applications actually become slow. Okay, why these applications actually become slow. To sim simply said, you know, if you follow this uh, three lines, you would understand why the applications actually become slow. Multiple users using the application at the same point of time, okay? Because of this, load on the application increases, and that actually makes the applications slow. Yeah, it's quite easy to understand that, but some of you might not understand this, so I would want to take an example and try to explain this. Um, let's take an example of a bike, okay? So, uh, most of you would have, uh, I mean, when I said bike, in India, a bike is a motorcycle. So, uh, uh, most of you would have bought a motorcycle for yourself. If one person is riding on that motorcycle, you know, there is a nice pickup and you would go smoothly, there wouldn't be any issues. But on this motorcycle, let's assume there are two people sitting. Okay, you and your friend. And let's assume your friend is fat. You, know, you have one of those fat friends. So he's sitting on the back. And, uh, you know, on that bike. And the bike, uh, let's say, is a 100cc bike. Okay, it's not, you know, not your uh, uh, modern motorcycles, which is 200cc, 300cc. Let's say it's a 100cc uh, standard bike. And you're sitting and then you have a fat friend sitting on your back. Now, would the performance of the bike same as before when you were alone riding it? I'm sure if you have ridden the bike, I'm sure you would say no. It kind of, the performance drops, you know, uh, it, the, the bike will go slow, you have to really uh, accelerate it to get some speed and all that. So what's actually happening here? The load on the bike, or in other words, load on the engine which is 100 cc is increasing when your fat friend is sitting on the back and when the load is increasing the performance is going down now imagine this fat friend has a brother who is fat as well and he wants to come with you and in india sometimes we do triples as well which means that three people will be sitting on the bike so you are driving it your fat friend is sitting in the sitting in between and then behind him his brother is sitting who is fat as well now the performance goes down even further right it becomes even really hard for you to get to that speed that you want so why the performance is going down on the bike because the load is increasing so same thing will happen with the applications as well so let's assume at this point of time right now my clock says 5 p.m okay at this point of time uh, on a particular application uh, I'll take some example probably let's take our Gmail application okay most of you might have used this so on this Gmail application uh, at this point of time which is 5 p.m. if there are 10 people using it the performance of the application will be good okay now, on the same Gmail application, at the same time at 5 p.m., if there are 100 people using that application at the same time, which is at 5 p.m., we don't know, the performance might go down a little bit because the load, the load as in said, the number of people are increasing. On the same application, it's not 100, but 1,000 people are using at the same point of time, which is 5 p.m., the load, the load on the application is increasing, which means that the performance will, might go down. There's a chances, you know, it will go down or not, I don't know, but might go down. 
instead of thousand, there are one lakh people using that application at the same point of time, which is 5 p.m. Now the performance might go down further. Okay, so this number of users that I'm asking, that I'm saying like 10, 100, 1000 or 1 lakh, this is what is the load on that application. Okay, at the same point of time all these people are using, which means that the load on the application is increasing. And typically if it is not properly performance tested, then this application, in our case Gmail, the performance of that application might go down which means that the application might become slow if it is not performance tested. But if it is properly performance tested for that 1 lakh people or 100,000 people, then we make sure that the performance doesn't go down as a performance tester. And uh, whatever the fixing that needs to be done, you know, we can get it done uh, through the developer or the performance engineers so that the application still works fine. This is precisely why we do performance testing, guys. And I've taken this example of Gmail, and uh, I've taken this example, assuming that you know there are multiple people who will be using this Gmail application at the same, top, same point of time. It's not just you, it, may, it, it could be your friend, it could be somebody else, it could be somebody in US or somebody in England, somebody in China. All these people will be using Gmail application. It's not just you. So, assuming that, I've taken this example uh, that, you know, multiple people will be using this application. So, I hope this 5 to 10 minutes video made it clear that why applications tend to become slower. Thank you.